Yeah, there's a lot going on with the uh, world right now in terms of Ukraine and Russia. And so if you look at it for what I think it really is, I mean, really look at what's happening. Really look at what's happening, okay? First off, this is a guy that controls the Ukraine right now. He's the president of the Ukraine, right? First off, any Eastern Bloc country is corrupt. Okay, any Eastern Bloc country is corrupt. Ukraine is corrupt. Ask any United States government official that has dealt with Ukraine. And they will tell you it's corrupt. Okay, it's corrupt. Ask anyone who's dealt with Russia. It's corrupt. Okay. It's called an oligarchy. A small group of people having control of a country or organization. That's what Russia is. That's what Ukraine is. It's an oligarchy. It's controlled by a small group of people. This guy and his buddies control the Ukraine. Okay? Uh, Vladimir Putin and his buddies control Russia. So my question is, you're an apartment dweller in the Ukraine, right? You're living back here in one of these apartments, you're paying rent, you've got a job, you're paying Zelensky taxes, you, you know, you, you're, you, you're living your life, right? Why would you, why would you uh, make a Molotov cocktail? Ukraine urges residents to make a Molotov cocktail. If, why would you do that? Why would you make a Molotov cocktail and bomb some guy who's coming in to, to, to not change your way of life? Vladimir Putin has never said, and I'm not pro-Putin, okay? I'm not pro-Ukraine. I'm not pro-Russia. I have no dog in this fight. I live in, in the United States of America, okay? What has Putin said he's going to do? What do he say? I'm going to kick everybody out of their apartments in Kiev. There's 40 million people in the Ukraine. What did he say he's going to do? I'm going to kill any male above the age of 30. No. What has he said? I'm going to cut off your gas supply. You can't have any more gasoline-powered cars in Ukraine. Has he ever said that? No. Has he ever said, look, all your industry, I'm going to wipe it out. It's not going to exist anymore. We're bombing every, every power. We're, 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 we're getting rid of all your uh, energy structure. You can't have any electricity anymore. Has he said that? No. He hasn't threatened to change any part of their life except this guy right here and his buddies getting all the money. That's it. So when you're making Molotov cocktails to fend off, you know, Vladimir Putin and his buddies, all you're doing is just saying, I want to pay this guy and his buddies. I don't want to pay this guy and his buddies. I want to pay this guy and his buddies. Think about it. When Russia takes over, okay, which Russia will take over, okay, when Russia takes over, is your rent going to change? No. Is your landlord going to change? No. Are your taxes going to change? No. Is your job going to change? No. You're still going to have a car? Yes. You're still going to have an apartment? Yes. You're still going to have a wife? Yes. You're still going to have a, uh, uh, a building to live in? Yes. You're still going to go to work? Yes. What part of your life has changed? What part of your life has changed? The only thing that's changed is instead of giving this guy and his buddies money, you're giving this guy and his buddies money. What difference does it make? They're, they're both corrupt. It's, it's, like a, a land, it's like a landlord. Imagine your landlord, right, got threatened by another landlord. 
right? So your landlord, you're paying rent in your apartment. You lived there for three years. And then another guy says, I want that building. And if you don't give me that building, I'm going to harm your family. So your current landlord sells the other guy the building under duress. Says, Here you go. You can have it. Now your rent hasn't changed. Your building location hasn't changed. Your amenities haven't changed. Your apartment hasn't changed. Nothing's changed except the guy you're paying the money to. Why would you care? Why would you care? You wouldn't care. You couldn't care less. You're paying rent in your apartment to some other entity. That's it. And it's the same thing with the Ukraine. You're paying, you're going to pay rent to this guy property taxes to this guy, or you're going to pay rent to this guy and property taxes to this guy. That's it. There's no threat to a Ukrainian way of life here. So why would you as a Ukrainian pick up a Molotov cocktail and put yourself in danger? And it's absolutely sickening that this guy is saying, look, and one thing that we commonly do is we say, look, Ukraine, United States, Germany, there is no Ukraine. There is no United States. There is no Germany. There are people calling themselves Germany. There are people calling themselves Ukraine. Okay. So these guys right here who call themselves Ukraine, the president and all his buddies, right, want you to make Molotov cocktails to fight this guy, why? So they can keep making money. That's it. They just want to keep making money. They, they've got, they've got, these guys are making millions and millions and millions of dollars. Okay. Vladimir Putin is one of the richest guys in the world. This guy has made billions of dollars. And this guy wants to make billions of dollars. And so does this guy. And so does this guy. So when he asks you, oh, pick up a Molotov cocktail and throw it in a tank so I can make more money. That's it. And all these people saying, oh, you know, Ukraine's a democracy. No, Ukraine, Ukraine is the most one of the most corrupt countries in the Eastern Bloc. Of course they're corrupt. They're not, they're not some shining representation of democracy. They're a corrupt country where this guy's making and his buddies are making huge amounts of money daily while you sitting back in your apartment pay it. And now he wants you to come out of your apartment and get a Molotov cocktail and throw it at a tank. Why? So he can make more money. There was a book written in 1935. Okay. It's called War is a Racket. It was written by one of America's most decorated soldiers. This wasn't written by a commentator. This wasn't written by a bystander. This wasn't written by, this guy was, this was written by the highest ranking, most decorated soldier in America. His name was Smedley Butler. Okay. And he wrote a book called War is a Racket in 1935. And guess what? It's still a racket. The Ukraine war is a racket. And if you, if you fall into either side of this thing, okay, in America, you're going to lose. Now, if you're in Ukraine and you want to go put your life on the line because your uncle has a contract, you know, with the U Ukrainian government and he's making $2 million a month and you, you're owning land and you're, of course, you're going to pick up a, a Molotov cocktail and throw it. Of course, you're going to pick up a, 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 a Sidewinder missile and shoot it. Of course, you're going to pick up a, you know, anti-aircraft machine and throw it. Of course, you're going to try to stop Russian tanks from coming in because your uncle is making $2 million a month with, with this guy and his buddies. But if you're an apartment dweller, you're paying this guy and his buddies, you're paying this guy and his buddies, and they're making $2 million a month off of you. Why would you pick up anything and throw it anywhere? Nothing's going to change. When this guy comes in with his buddies, he's going to charge you the same amount of rent as this guy. When this guy's charging you property tax, this guy's going to come in and now he's going to charge you property tax. 
It's that simple. There's no, there's no, there's no uh, ideology in this fight whatsoever. None. If you look at Native Americans, right? Native Americans had a way of life. When the white people came in, the white people completely threatened every aspect of their way of life. They were roaming free on the plains. They had an endless amount of, of, of food supply in the Buffalo. They had nobody telling them that they, had, they owed them anything in terms of tax money. Now, a white guy comes in and goes, oh, well, you know, you guys, you know, I'm here now and you guys can't go on this land and this land and this land. You can't go here, here, here. And by the way, you owe us money. And uh, you're not going to be killing these animals anymore because they're on my land and you can't do it. Think about it. Every aspect of their life was threatened. Every way of life they had was threatened. What way of life is being threatened by this guy? What way of Ukrainian life is being threatened by this guy? Nobody's ever said. Vladimir Putin has never said, oh, your way of life, it's over. Forget about it. You're not going to live like Ukraine. You're not going to live like human beings anymore. You're going to be slaves to Russia. You're going to be doing our bidding. What is, it, what is Vladimir Putin's bidding? What is he asking Ukrainian people to do? Nothing. He's going to come in and instead of paying these guys right here, you're going to pay these guys. You're going to be in your apartment. You're going to be at your job. Your job's not going to change. Okay, you're Ukrainian. Russia takes over. Your job's not going to change. Your apartment's not going to change. Your tax structure's not going to change. Your wife's not going to change. Your family's not going to, nothing's going to change. You're going to be in the Ukraine doing everything you were doing yesterday. And instead of paying these guys, you're going to pay these guys. So, you know, don't buy into the hype that there's some kind of, um, my favorite guys buying into the hype are these guys that are pouring out their vodka. They're pouring out vodka <laughs> that they already bought. Hey, buddy, you're pouring out Russian vodka? Well, you already paid Russia for it. They already got the money. Hey, buddy, they got you're pouring out your own profits here. You're pouring out your vodka. You bought it. Russia already made the money. This guy's buying into some kind of hype. Look, I'm 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 against Russia. I'm against, look, I'm going to pour out their vodka. Well, you bought it from them. You already paid them. They already made the money. They're using the funds to fight the Ukraine. They're using the funds to take over Ukraine right now, buddy. This is doing literally nothing. And Ukrainian citizens buying into the hype that this guy is better to pay off than this guy. I don't know that to be true. They might, if they think, hey, look, if you think your landlord is so great, if you think your owner and your controller is so great that you've got to throw a Molotov cocktail at a tank, I'm not, I would, wouldn't stop you from doing it. Do it. If you think this guy is so much better as a landlord than this guy, you know, and you want to throw a Molotov cocktail, go ahead. But I'm saying that this whole thing is a racket. The whole idea is, is, is on America's part is pure hype. Everything you're hearing from American press is pure hype. And there's going to be no difference in the way of life in Ukraine when this guy takes over as when this guy was there. There's going to be almost literally no perceivable dif difference from the normal Ukrainian apartment dweller, voter, tax-paying Ukrainian, the 40 million people that are there, there's going to be literally no difference in their way of life. And time will certainly, um, time will certainly tell if, I, if I'm right or not. So we'll find out.